Hello and welcome back. We are in Dark Souls 2 and we are back here uh, at this NPC where we uh, uh, kind of left off last time before the uh, we killed the Hyde Knight, which was a smaller episode. Um, let's see here. It's locked, but you know what? This door kind of looks half broken. So we're gonna trash the door and you're gonna come into this room here. It's gonna be pretty empty. Um, except for a couple of things. First of all, we have a hand axe and a radiant life gem here. Uh, I'm just gonna strike a few of these things down so I don't forget anything. There's also the chest that's in the middle of the room. Doesn't look like here's anything else. So let's open the chest. Small leather shield and repair powder. Let's take a look at the um, small leather shield. Doesn't do that much interesting stuff. We still do not have a really good shield for a hundred percent physical block. Um, but there's going to be another chest here. And I'm pretty sure that there's going to be an enemy that's going to be around here. Going to have to block his attacks because he kind of hurts. Did take some damage there. We get another Estus Flask Shard, which is very important. And some white soapstone. Also, you can drop down here to get a Divine Blessing. Just watch out so you don't fall down in that hole straight, straight away. Before we do anything else, we're going to go back here. And we're gonna use the Estus Flask Shard that we got. Uh, I think it's pretty important. Is that a shard? Here, to see light. To see hope. Yes. However... I would like to use the Flask Shard, please. Thank you. So that means that we now have three Flask sh uh, uses. Uh, we're gonna go back here and start clearing the next area. Now there is a couple of things that you might want to think about while clearing this area. Uh, first of all, don't fall down here. You'll probably die instantaneously. Don't think it's designed to um, uh, be survivable uh, without any um, help. Uh, you kill those two enemies, you go over here. This guy is also alive, alive and well. So strike him down. Here's another door which we can't get through at this point. We go back here and pick up a soul that we're gonna be able to use quite soon. Now this area here is quite interesting. Um, you can basically decide that either you want to go this way, this way, or you go through here. This is not a boss area. It's just quite an annoying area. Uh, so we're gonna wait here a little while. Doesn't look like there's anyone coming, so we're gonna sprint up the branch here, or whatever it is. We're gonna kill this guy quickly, and then we're gonna move on to Mr. Halberd guy. Kill him quickly too. Now, the problem here is if you go up this ladder, you'll summon a one, uh, one-time uh, boss. 
so unless you're prepared for that boss, you should not go upstairs here. So you can't really kill that guy uh, unless you um, you do that. So we're gonna wait with that. There are quite a lot of things that we want to get from this area. So first of all, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna kill this guy. Then we're gonna drink a shard, cause we need it. And then we're gonna jump over here, get rid of this guy. And now we're kind of in a much safer spot here on this area. Uh, we want to go up here uh, on this ladder first though, because there are there are some things you want to get in this area, but these bow guy here is quite annoying. So we get rid of him first, grab his item, which is a short bow. Very nice. We kill this guy here, and now we notice that, oh hey, we can't go back. So we have to go this way. Uh, we can actually just go up here now because the bow guy is, is gone. We should be really careful about these spear, spear units here. They're really dangerous. Um, they'll cause you a lot of grief. Especially now that you don't have a shield that blocks 100% physical damage. We're gonna stand here and wait for the boulder. We're gonna get the human effigy. Let's go see what's at the end here. Nothing. So we're gonna go back. Now this guy up here, he's quite important as well. What you want to do is uh, talk to him quite a lot. He has a lot of boring conversation here. Uh, now we got a house key. Uh, the house key is also very good to have. And we'll get an amber herb. Now the house key will enable us to um, enter the house that's back in Majula where you'll find some really nice stuff. However, before we do that, we're gonna head up here once more. We're gonna clear this area of items. I am pretty sure that there is something. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see if I remember correctly. I need to get down. Do I need to go into the tower first, though? That is the question. Let's pop another health flask here because we're gonna jump down here. There we go. That guy is dead. We're gonna grab the torch. Can't go out there. We can go down here. There should be... yeah, there is a guy over there. Now you have to be kind of careful here. Because it's quite... Um, narrow. Which means that we can run back again. Alright. I kind of forgot how this area works. So to get over there, I'm pretty sure we need to jump in here, drop down. There should be someone to kill in here. Where did he go? I 
can kind of hear something. I wonder if that's my own steps. Anyway, let's go over here. There's a titanite shard that we can get, which is very nice for us. I don't think we can get anything else right here, right now. So there are two more things I would like to do uh, in this episode. First of all, we're gonna get um, another weapon. Yeah. Let's do that in the other order. Let's go to the house first. We're gonna travel to Majula. And we're gonna go into the house that we got the key for. Which is the house right up here, kind of the big house. The big house. We're gonna use the key to open the door. And we're gonna ransack this house. There's there isn't that much things here. That many things. We have a Pharaoh's lockstone. Very, very nice to have. Uh, and then we can head on further inside the house. Um, first of all, we're not going to head down here. We're going to head upstairs. Upstairs is safe. There's nothing here that can kill you. But there is a chest. with another titan, three thi titanite shards here. Just check outside. Nothing here. And nothing here. Which means that we can now move on downstairs again. There's nothing in here either. So we can now move in indoors and downstairs through to the basement. This looks like a chest, but it isn't, and this area is kind of weird. Not sure if anything happens here later, but we're gonna head down further. You should be kind of careful here, because there's a skeleton here. It's gonna hurt you a lot. Um, but don't worry. Uh, we are also going to hurt this a lot. See, we did 400 damage there, and there it's dead. No problem. Don't let it hit you, it does hurt. Not as bad as Dark Souls 1, but it's still not a very nice skeleton. So we get another shard here for our flask and what do we get in this chest we get a petrified something remember where we could use that that's back in the beginning the crow's nest cool cool now we can move outside again can move outside and we can upgrade our flask once more. Totally worth it. One simple skeleton for uh, one Estus flask shard. Is that a shard you? Yes, it is. However, upgrade Estus flask. Thank you. Very nice. Now we are gonna travel back here. Now comes a slightly tricky part where we're going to obtain quite a good weapon for ourselves. We're going to go back outside here. And you can see quite a lot of things down here. Um, some items up there. 
Now we're going to drop down, and then we're going to drop down here as well. See that guy? We're going to try and kill him without... Um, let's see. Yep, good. We killed both of them. The uh, ambushing guy that's standing back here is really annoying. Just watch out so you don't really run out of stamina. I'm gonna take... Uh, there's a ladder here that you can use to climb down. But I will go this way. You can use this area here to go back inside and rest. We're gonna jump over here to get another human effigy. And we have another branch here that we can use for walking. There's a shield skeleton here, which actually kind of hurt me there. Shouldn't have done that. We're going to ignore those guys down there for now. And we're going to continue going this way. There should be an... I thought I saw an item. Okay, it's on the, uh, the tree here. Let's be careful so we don't fall down. Lost soul, and that guy is not gonna bother us for now. Apparently, he's blind, but only temporarily. So, there are a few enemies down here. They should be easy to kill if you have the Hide Sword or Hade Sword. Um, We're going to roll back, not taking any chances here, but these should be too shottable. Notice these guys here, petrified. So there's apparently something pretty dangerous around this area. Uh, we got a hollow infantry armor. Let's just check this area here for loot, and uh, there is some loot get a couple of life gems. Uh, okay, so we have two caves here. We have this cave here, which is burning. Try dash and left. Then we have this cave here. This cave is very undangerous, but it has a hollow soldier's helm in it. The other cave here is a very much more dangerous. So we're gonna wait. And that was really close. Whoops. Apparently there are a couple of enemies that really wanted to kill me here don't know where they came from, but we got in here pretty okay. Gonna use a flask shard. Now we're gonna open this chest and we're gonna be very happy with what's inside. It's a fire longsword. If we check that out, uh, it's here. It does 78, 78 or 78 normal damage, which is 3 more than our current weapon. And then it does 78 fire damage uh, instead of 50 lightning damage. I really, really like this sword. Uh, we have the stats to equip it. It's 10-9. It's actually less than the hide sword. However, notice that the scaling of the hide, hide sword is better than this. So eventually it will do more damage. And we're gonna dash right out of there. And then we're gonna go back. Now we have everything that we need. And now it's time to prepare. Prepare for the boss. Now you have uh, a choice. We're going to prepare as much as possible for the boss. Uh, you have a choice. Either you prepare and upgrade the um, 
fire longsword. Right. Fire longsword. Some more fire damage. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, or you upgrade the Hade Knight sword. Uh, which gives lightning damage, but a smaller amount. Uh, let's see, you're gonna throw a firebomb? Yes. Throw another firebomb, please. Okay. Good, you shouldn't do that. Seriously, stop throwing fucking firebombs in my face. <sighs> Whoa! Chill out there, bro. That was pretty close. I really, really hate the way that they throw the firebombs straight at your face whenever you get close. We're gonna kill that for the extra souls. Did you drop an item? Nope. Okay, so basically you have a choice. You either upgrade your uh, Hate Knight Sword for more lightning damage, or you upgrade your Fire Long Sword for more fire damage. Both are really solid weapons at this point. Um, however, first of all, now it's a good time to buy the blacksmith's key or uh, Leningrast's key. We're gonna do that for a thousand souls, which means that we at this point have spent a thousand souls at that merchant. We're gonna go back to Majula. Now, upgrading weapons in this game costs titanite shards of different types and souls. So you basically you choose between leveling up or spending souls for uh, upgrading your weapons and stuff. The thing is the one-time boss that I talked about has a slight weakness to lightning damage. However, the animation of this sword is a lot better. You might do slightly better on that boss if you have lightning uh, on your sword. Not guaranteed and there is still a chance that you're gonna fail. We're gonna deal with that in the next episode. I'm gonna try out and kill that boss. Uh, see if I'll ma manage to do it in one try. That would be kind of cool, but we'll see. I'll uh, in the next video. I'll also be upgrading my weapon. So um, let's see uh, which one I choose. Thank you for watching. I hope um, you enjoyed the video. Please uh, comment and feedback in the section below. That would be really awesome. And thank you for watching. Have a really nice day.